I'm so hyped about this video today. We're going to be talking about how to make $100 a day trading. We're going to be talking about how to make one Benjamin, one full Benjamin consistently while trading. We're going to go over the blueprints and the steps of how to make the $100 goal per day. $100 is some nice bread on the side. Even if it's your main job in most places in the world, $100 a day is going to go a long way unless you live in California like I do and $100 a day won't even let me rent out Shrek's bathroom. When we're talking about making $100 a day, Trading. We're also talking about the probability, the stock market, the portfolio of the game. We're not going to make exactly $100 a day every single day. We're talking about the average on the long term, not on the short term. Some days you may make $20, $20 another day you may make $200, another day you may lose $40, $50, and so on. But we're looking for the long term average to be around the $100 mark that we're looking for. How are we going to get to the $100 a day goal that we're looking for? First, we're going to be talking about how much money you need to re achieve the 100 day goal that we're looking for. Second, we're going to be talking about what strategies we need and how to prove that strategy work. And last, we're going to be talking about risk and reward and consistency while trading. Let's get into it, guys. All right, so how much money do we need when we start day trading to make the $100 a goal that we're looking for? Well, everybody starts from somewhere. If you only have $500 to invest, well, what can you do? You only have $500, invest the $500 and start scaling up and start working towards the $100 a day goal. It's gonna be really hard if you only do have $500 to reach $100, because that means you need the 20% average every single day on average to make the $100, which is, unless you're a really, really good trader, and my guess is you're not because you're just starting off, it's gonna be super difficult, but it's okay. Even if you make 20, 30, 40 bucks to start off with, hey, that's still a win, we're still learning, and we're still gonna get there. My recommendation on what you really should be investing with, starting off is between three to five K, and we could still consider that a small account. If you have three to five K, you are not gonna be investing all of it in every single play. We're gonna be investing depending on what you're comfortable with. Remember that keyword, comfortability. That word is so key that Com being comfortable is what's going to lead us to consistency. Being comfortable means that you're willing to lose the money you're putting up and you're not going to overreact or over freak over that money you're investing that you might potentially lose. If you put up too much money and you start freaking out, you're going to mess up your whole strategy, you're going to stick to your plans, and everything's going to go wrong. So start off with really only what you're comfortable with. But I think once you're willing to put up three to five thousand dollars in place, it will be very easy to get to that hundred dollars a goal because it's only two percent gain. 2% gain, some people might think it's a lot, 2%, but I think it's very doable if you do have a strategy that works and you have a strategy that you've mastered and you're comfortable with. So I definitely recommend 3 to 5,000, 2% is a very achievable goal. But if you're less than that and you're not comfortable with putting up that much money, even starting off with $100, that's gonna be achievable. That's how we're looking for. Imagine this is a video game and if you're just starting out, you're a level one character and you start off with a little money and you gotta work your way up to be a higher level character to have more money. Don't get too hung up on how much money you need to invest to make $100 a day. You gotta look for money you're comfortable with. So if it's only $20, start off with $20 and slowly scale up. The more comfortable you get with trading and with your strategy. And number two, everybody's strategy is gonna be different. So if your strategy you're only looking to make a 1% gain, you're gonna need more money. If your strategy you make an average 5 to 10%, hey, you're gonna get invested more money. Remember, with it's all about comfortability. But you know what's really comfortable? is subscribing to the channel and helping us out with the YouTube algorithm. Hi guys, so we're going to be talking about the strategies and one strategy we're going to be using when trying to reach the $100 goal. So, the strategy is all going to be up to you. There are so many strategies in the trading world you can use, all depending on what fits you and your personality and what you feel comfortable with. So, I don't want to tell you guys exactly what strategy to use because I don't want you guys to watch this one single video, me showing you a couple examples of strategies that I use and going out there and thinking that you already know everything. No, when you're looking for a strategy, you need to watch videos and videos and videos and learn hours and hours before you even take your first trade. Why? Because trading is that complex. It's not something you can watch one single video on how to trade, watch some of those clowns on YouTube and think you're really a master and you're ready to go trade. So we will be talking about some strategies that you can choose from. What day trading is, is that you wake up at the market open and you're actively trading what's in charts, kind of like those in the back and you're constantly looking at candles, taking positions, being in them for a short period of time, not holding them overnight, and it's very time consuming. So I don't recommend it for anybody that has a job. If you have a job and you go to work from you know nine to five, that's gonna be a strategy you're looking for. So you might be looking for a strategy like swing trading. Swing trading is you're taking a position, depending on some characteristics that you find of the stock that you like, you wanna take a position, you assume it's gonna go up or down, depending, you could short. 
but let's say you're thinking it's gonna go up, you're gonna take a position in stock and within a few days, two weeks, depending on what your strategy is and what you're looking for, you will sell it for a profit. So that strategy takes a little longer, but it's less work. You can set it beforehand, you can set, set, set alarms, set buy orders beforehand, so they execute if it fits all of your criteria, and then sell it later on in the day, which lets you not have to be actively looking at your computer all the time, every single candle, if you have a job or a school. So swing trading is very helpful if you have a, jo have a job, you have to be to day trade actively, and you're trying to do this as a side little thing that you're doing to make some extra money to invest in other things eventually. Also what you could do, you could use a mix of both, which means take some day trades, take some swing trades. If you're under a PD2 rule, you can dedicate Monday, Wednesday, Fridays to look for a day trade opportunity when you're off of work or off of school, and the other days you can focus on swing trading. So after hours, before hours, when you have time off, you can look for strategies for a plan, you can look for oversold, overbought plays, you can look for earnings report, you can look for any catalyst that you might want to play for a swing trade opportunity. So this is what I highly recommend, trying a little bit of both, but going out there and really focusing down on the strategy you want to use. You want to be a scalper, you want to be a swing trader, you want to be a day trader, what do you want to do? You want to be an option trader, there's so many options out there. I definitely recommend if you never traded before, just go watch a bunch of videos, all the different ones. It's so much fun, it's going to be so interesting for you guys. Just go out there, get your feet wet, get yourself knowledgeable, go to the TOS paper trading platform where you can test out the different strategies and make sure after you learn a strategy that it really works. Back test it, go on the paper trade, try it a bunch of times, even a hundred times to make sure that your strategy really works and then get to the day trading and stay consistent with it. So lastly, we're going to be talking about risk to reward ratios. I don't see enough people talk about the risk to reward. It's something that goes so underappreciated in the YouTube community. When I talk about risk to reward, I mean one to two, which means I'm risking one dollar to make two dollars which means I only need to be right 40% of the times to make money. So let's say I'm risking $1 to $2, I can be wrong six times, but I can be right four times and I still come out on top. While if I take bad trades, something that's one to one, if I'm 50% of the times right to 50% of the times wrong, I'm break even, which means I need to be right 60% of the times. On the other hand, if you have a one to three ratio, you only need to be right 30% of the times and you can still come out on top and make money. So another more risk rewards is I'm talking about understanding what the potential the stock is of when you're taking the trade. So when you're gonna take profit. So let's say the stock is at $5, I'm expected to go to $6, I take some profits there, and then I expect to go $7, and I might take the rest of the profits there. So understanding the risk to reward is so key, Expect knowing what your potential gain compared to your potential loss is very undervalued in trading. Just because the stock you think is gonna go up, it might only go up 30, 40, 50 cents, which is not gonna be worth for you to invest your capital in. Well, there could be a bit another opportunity to you're only risking 50 cents, but you could be making $2. So how do we calculate risk to reward and how do you know what your risk to reward is? Well, that's all gonna come down to step number two, which is what is a strategy? When you're choosing a strategy, you don't just choose when you should buy a stock, you also need to know when you're gonna get out of the stock. So before even taking trades, you know, at a certain level, depending on your indicators or price level, the price action, whatever you're looking at, you need to understand what, what, when are you going to get out. So for example, if you're getting in on a stock that's $20 and you're going to get out, if it goes down under $19.50, that will be your stop loss, so it will be your risk to reward, while you would expect the stock to go to $23. So that will be a higher risk reward because you're risking $0.50 cents to make $3. So this is really just a big blueprint of what you need to do to get to the $100 a day. So if you take these three steps, really apply yourself and you really understand what you need to do, you will get to the $100 a day average. All right guys, so as always, thank you for watching my video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Tell me in the comments what you guys wanna see next, what I should do, what we should talk about. Should we try some option trading? Should we talk more about what to do with day trading? Let me know down below. Follow the Instagrams, follow all the links down there. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.